Hey everybody, I'm back, and as you can see, the cabbage is finished cooking, uh, the chicken, it's nicely seasoned with all the uh, seasonings in it. I have the egg roll wraps, I bought four of these, I believe there's 21 in each one. I don't know that we're going to use all of them, but uh, these are so good to roll up meatloaf, um, sloppy joes, you could roll up um, torn up pieces of chicken or turkey and dip it in ranch. It's real good to put um, pulled pork in, then dip it in barbecue sauce. These are just really delicious. I even like to roll up mashed potatoes in them, like a loaded baked potato type mashed potato, and they're delicious like that. They're real easy to um, to use to roll up. They're very thin, you can see, and uh, it's just pretty simple. Once your uh, cabbage is cooked, just let it sit in the pan and let all the juices kind of drain down uh, into the bottom where your egg roll won't, won't be too soggy. And... Uh, that's really good to eat the um, remaining cabbage and chicken with that good broth on it. Anyway, put the amount of chicken that you want, if you want, to, or a chicken and cabbage, if you want a thick one or a thin one, whatever. Fold it over, then fold over each side. I'm sure that you probably can't see me do this as well as I'd like for you to. Then just give it a one roll. Take your finger, dip it in your water. Put it on each side of your triangle that's left. And then roll it up. And you have an egg roll. I'm going to do it one more time. You just get the amount you want. Put it on your uh, wrap, then pull up the edge, bring it over. I pull it down to try to tighten it up a little bit. Bring it over, like kind of where it looks like an envelope. Roll it over once. Wet each um, corner of your triangle. Some people like to use egg wash, but you don't really need to. And then you have your egg roll. So, I have already rolled this many. And I'm going to get uh, the rest of this finished. It won't take but a few minutes. And I'll come back and I'll show you frying them. And I'll show you how to make shrimp sauce. So, I'll be back again. Okay, I am back for probably the last time I'm going to cook up some of the um, uh, egg rolls for you. And I'm going to make a shrimp sauce. And um, that should be it for um, the chicken cabbage egg rolls. And I really enjoy doing these little cooking videos for you. And I hope you enjoy watching. And I sometimes I feel like I just talk way too much, but... That's how I am. So, anyway, let's get started on frying. And what I'm going to do is I have pure canola oil. I'm going to put, I had my burner put on high. I don't put a whole lot of oil to um, cook them. I'm also going to mix it with a little olive oil. Probably two-thirds to one-third. And I believe that's pretty hot. And I don't believe it's hot enough. Anyway, um, while that heats, why don't I just make the... Um, shrimp sauce. This is the pan I'm going to lay the um, 
egg rolls on, so I'll just set it here. I have mayonnaise, which is probably uh, a cup, a cup of mayonnaise. And to that, this just regular tomato ketchup. I'm going to put about a fourth a cup. A fourth a cup of ketchup. Then, this is just steel hamburger uh, pickles. That light is really terrible. I apologize for that. And I'm going to cut my heat down just a little bit. You put dill pickle juice, and I would say about a tablespoon of dill pickle juice, and ground red pepper, and just a couple shakes. You know, if you like something hot, put more. If you don't like it as hot, put less, but that would really be your taste on that. That's all that goes in it. There it is. Mix it up. And you have got some really good shrimp sauce. And it looks to me like maybe I could use a little more ketchup. So that's what I'm going to do. I put about another tablespoon in there. And just mix it up. If you have dill pickle relish, you might want to put that, but you do need the dill pickle juice. So, anyway, let's get started on cooking these. So, these cook really fast. So, I have it down pretty low, and there is some juice coming off of them from the cabbage broth so it makes it spatter a little bit more but I'll just pick up a few of these and let you see and then I'll end the video because uh, you probably don't want to see me cook up a whole bunch of these that could probably get boring my kids think I'm boring without trying to make the whole world feel like I'm boring. And so, let me turn that over. See, it's a nice golden brown. I'm just really having trouble with this. I probably should let that cook a little bit more. I'll turn it back over. I'm trying to rush this when I shouldn't be. But, um, you don't have to dip these in the, um, uh, shrimp sauce. Uh, there's just numerous ways you can eat them. They do have just a tiny bit, bit of a country flair to them. So, they would probably be really good with some mashed potatoes. And uh, just whatever you decide, if you decide to make them, however you decide to eat them, whatever seasonings you put, and all that is just entirely up to you. But um, I really wanted to get, you know, a couple made up so you could see the end result. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that or not. I freeze these and then uh, when we want some, I take them out of the freezer bag. You can microwave them and that's good. But they're better if you will stick them in the, the oven on like 350 for if they're completely frozen uh, stick them in there for probably 10 to 15 minutes but you'd probably want to be able to thaw them out before you try to heat them microwaving sometimes makes things tough you know 
so um, anyway you know it's like a watch pot never boils is that how that saying goes when I'm trying to hurry this along for you but I know y'all understand that I'm new to YouTube and I'm just doing my best and I'm happy to share this with you so do try these with uh, some barbecue dip it in uh, or barbecue pork or beef dipped in barbecue sauce or turkey dipped in ranch or chicken torn up and rolled up and fried mashed potatoes just whatever whatever you have left over meatloaf is delicious in an egg roll and freeze it and then when you're in a hurry for a, a meal just take it out and pop it in the oven and there you go I have always been as a quick as I can do something, that's the road I take. Because my life used to always be so busy. But it's still busy, but just in a different way. But I'm going to take one out. And we use, or my husband uses these cake pans a lot because when he eats, because of his disability, he will push the food off, you know, onto himself or onto the floor. So we use these to um, try to keep his food where it belongs. So this is just first thing I grabbed. But there it is fried. Let me cut it open for you. If I hadn't got a butter knife, it might would have cut better. But there it is. Let me go ahead and lift it up. There it is. Let me show you that one. A little soy sauce on there would be really good. And thank you again for watching my video. Like I said, this is for uh, a contest, or uh, yeah, I guess you would call it a contest, uh, on another channel, which I'm going to link, and I think I said the man's name wrong. But anyway, check him out if you'd like to. Make this recipe if you'd like to, and let me know what you think about it. I really appreciate all the kind words and friendships that I'm forming, and Hey, y'all just make me feel really good. And uh, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.